Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about testing your WordPress plugin on Travis CI. First off, I actually found all of this code on this GitHub page here on Codemondi. Uh, it's a very interesting technique that is used here and that it's very straightforward uh, and simple but as it's uh, very well documented over here and also uh, very easy to set up I thought it was easier to just go with someone else's setup and uh, use that. Uh, so this uh, little Travis YAM YAML file here will set up the PHP uh, language, it will add the MySQL service it will set some environment variables here that the project type is a plugin run with the latest version what the test url should be and also the username and password for this uh, i said that i will run it on php nightly 7.3 and 7.2 and down here you will get some things that is required for the testing. So I will get PHP unit and CMOD that download so I can actually run it on the environment. This is an install pe uh, part. And in my before script here, I will actually get this template that they had set up and put that into VP test so I can have those scripts, so I can run those. And then I will run this install script that I have set up and we will look a little bit into that and it will actually install something um, with the DB user root and with no password local host and the word, uh, WordPress uh, version over here and test I don't really know what the first variable is we will look at that when we look at the script and here I will run some PHP CS. I have a rule set here that builds on the standard world word uh, press rule set, but I have disabled a few rules that just didn't make sense in my plugin, um, but it, it's minor things. And I thought it was, when I run something on WordPress, I want to follow their rule set. So some other WordPress plugin developer will feel like um, feel at home when they are working with a plugin so I wanted to have a standard uh, to go through uh, from and uh, then I run my PHP unit test and I also found this little coverage checker that will uh, give me a, a test that sees that my coverage is over a specific percentage and at this moment I haven't written that many tests so I will put that at 5% and it's actually at 6% now but I want to uh, improve that a lot um, just so I will get my um, plugin tested. So if we look at my little test script here you see that I have written some tests I've tried something down here but it's very much uh, uh, standard testing a VP unit test case uh, and this is my plugin test and then I just uh, create a new instance of my class down here and I can run all the functions in my in my plugin and I can also run any WordPress specific commands as well if I look in my PHP unit here I have added this uh, coverage clover here so I can have this XML output uh, and I had to whitelist my PHP file as well in order to actually get the test to run and uh, to get uh, the coverage as well. If we go over co to Codemondi's uh, GitHub page here, we can look at this script that I talked about earlier, this install script. It will install WordPress, it will install the WordPress test suite, it will install the database. Then it will install the real WordPress, so that's, I guess, a real WordPress installation. It will link this project, so this is a template, so it will link my project into 
um, this installation. It will install the AirSpec's requirement. I'm not using AirSpec, but this is uh, also available if you want that. It will start the WordPress server and it will run uh, this uh, PHP CS, but it's actually just setting up this so you can use this on your WordPress installation. And it will actually add this WordPress coding standard that I talked about earlier that I will use. Starting the server is very simple as well. It's just starting a router so you can run things through this uh, WordPress uh, plugin. The requirements, we don't talk about that. Here we see that we download WordPress CLI and then run an install of that uh, with all the setup that we had earlier. Um, linking this project will actually create a hard link from my folder to the plugins directory and also to the themes directory. So you can actually use this uh, specific code or the specific template to test team themes if you like as well uh, the install db is also very straightforward uh, i wanted to look into this uh, install wordpress what's the uh, difference here uh, okay it will download the full wordpress installation and I guess that is to add all the all the things so you can actually get all the includes and so on uh, so you can use those and it also uh, now th this will actually download and uh, put WordPress in place and the other script will actually make the installation in order for you to run uh, a WordPress installation interesting uh, so very good work uh, Barsic uh, very good uh, little template here to follow and you see here on this uh, github page you have more uh, description on how to set this up if you don't want to use my specific setup here is a few more ways you can use this uh, I thought this was a very interesting templating project and I have used it as you see i'm starting to create my uh, test suit i have gone through and changed all the um, php uh, cs uh, setup so i have my my code is actually following the wordpress uh, rule set for coding standards that was a lot of work <laughs> because i i did not follow it uh, particularly well um I hope that you found this uh, video interesting. I hope that you found this uh, project interesting as well. And if you have any question about this project or help, want to help uh, any help with your setup, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.